all right guys welcome back to the next video on the channel and yes it is another pokey rogue episode currently my internet has been down for about a day and a half so this is the this is the first time i get to upload a video since then so i thought let's do a pokey rogue video let's get it out there and then we can we're gonna have to restart uh, radical red because the save got corrupt so that will be probably the stream later on but for now let me go through the team and as you can see on the bottom it has changed a lot. So, Primal Kyogre is now merged with Zekrom, non-shiny. And we still got Tinkatina, uh, Tink Arna, sorry, which is Tinkerton and Katana. Then we have Reggie Drago and Bolt Hound as a shiny. Obviously, we've got a blue and a normal shiny there. Then we've got Mega Tyranitar with Electric. Uh, Electric is a blue shiny as well. Then we've got Raticate and Toxipex. That is also two blue shinies merged together. And then we have our Mega Charizard X, which also does have the Y and the Gigantamax on it as well. Um, but is also a shiny. Uh, we did get a few of these. This is obviously going to be a few spoilers for the shorts that are coming out soon. But as you can see, it is broken already. I do wish G-Max moves were in the game because G-Max Wildfire would be absolutely crazy on this game. Um, so we are trying to build up our Charizard's moves. We have took all the items we did have on our Raticate and moved them over to Charizard. I think that is the only one we're currently looking at. So yeah. So let's take these down and we can move on. I might actually show you a few things as well as we've had some insane luck. Um, let's kill this one then we'll go and start a brand new run and I will show you what Pokemon we currently have that we can pick from. Um, there has been a massive update to the game as well. A um, few more shinies that can be got. Not only that, Certain berries have been limited to three now, so I think citrus berries are on three and things like that, so it does make it a bit harder. If you look at our look in the top right corner, it is S. I don't know if we can get S++ or whatever it can be, but I will hopefully get there one time. Um, and we also have quite a bit of money now. Um, let's just keep going. Do we take the relic gold? Yeah, why not? Right, so in our room we currently have 21 Master Balls. <laughs> um, it's basically how I catch my shinies at the minute. Um, Eggless, I don't think we've got any, but we do have one ticket and it is Zygarde. So I'm, I pulled, I don't know, trying to get this Zygarde. I am currently at, I'd say a good 70 eggs trying to get this Zygarde and nothing. So let's have a look at what we have in, in terms of shinies, things like that. Um, so obviously we have our Char Charmander, sorry not Charizard. Um, reduced cost, we can't do that yet. Raticate does have 34 candy so we can reduce the cost or we can go and try and get the 54 um, strong draw so we can keep an eye out on that. Um, our Ekans is now one as well. Which is good. We did actually reduce that cost the other day. We have Oddish with 13. We still can't reduce that. Poliwag with 6. We can't reduce that. Pikachu's candy is on Pichu. So we'll get back to him in a minute. Our Machop we could reduce. But then we could also go for Iron Fist. So I'm thinking we go for the passives first. Because they are a lot more um, like candy to do. And then we can move on from there. Obviously, our Grimer there as well, which is, you know, there's some good ones on here. And then we've got a Magikarp here with 45, which means we can unlock multi-scale. Which is actually insane for a Gyarados, so let's do that right now. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to do that. But that is currently our Kanto run. Um, so in Johto, what we have currently is Pichu. That has been reduced cost already. We have Hoppip, which I don't think can remove its cost. Nope, it's 30. Slugmo, we're still waiting for two. Um, Corsler, we can do it now, actually, which is a good choice. So let's do that. Um, we have a lot of Hoenn Shinies, as you can see. 
So we've got Taylor, which still can't reduce the cost of. We've got Wismer, same thing, can't reduce the cost of. Ninkada is broken. Um, obviously, because you get two shinies. So we could reduce the cost of Ninkada um, in a few more. And we do find a lot of ninja, so I am going to wait for that one. Um, we don't have Gutch or be able to reduce the cost of Slack off yet. Um, our Shroomish, we can reduce the cost, so I'm doing that. Our Aaron, can't reduce the cost. Metatite, can't reduce the cost. I think that's it for this uh, gen. However, our Kyogre is completely maxed out. There's nothing we can do there. Groudon, on the other hand, we could still get a few more on, so we can keep an eye on that moving forward. Gen 4, we do have a shiny Piplup. Um, can't reduce the cost of it yet. Burmy is 25. We are quite close to getting that one done. Uh, we have Beniri, 20 candy, so we can't do that one. Uh, can't do the bronze on. Definitely can't do the Hippopotas. And we cannot do the Snow Driver, but we do have Dialga and Palkia. Both with Recover, which is insane. And then we've also got Victini, which I'm so happy to have got. Um, we shall do a run with them soon because we need to do a classic for them. Um, we've got Blitzor, we can't do anything with yet. We've got Timber, which I don't think we can do anything with yet after we've already done one. Um, Timpole, same thing, can't do anything there yet. Um, Basculin, I forgot we got a shiny Basculin. It's 15, so we are a few away yet. Uh, Timer, Timepole, sorry, or Timer. Can't reduce the cost of yet. Did also get a main through a while back. Can't do anything with that. Um, Gen 6, we got Taylor. We're one away from that, so that's a really good. Uh, go go, definitely can't do anything there. Uh, can't do anything here. Uh, Clauncher, can't do anything there. Helioptile, can't do anything there. And that's it for Gen 6. Gen 7, we have a Litten. Can't use the cost. Marini, we should be able to. That's not bad, but we could also get Toxic Debris. Which wouldn't be bad either. Um, you know what? Let's reduce the cost. Why not? It gets us more shinies we can actually use. Um, we're close to Togedemaru as well. Uh, Sandy Gast, 5 away. Uh, for Mantis, we've already done. Um, Gen 8. We have Scrobit, which isn't ready to go yet. Um, Blitbug, can't do yet. Gossifleur, can't do yet. Applin, we definitely can't do yet. Yamper, we can. So we'll do that for definite. Um, you've already been done. Uh, Infimp, can't be done until 20. Um, but we do find a lot of them, so that will be an easy one to get, I think. Our uh, Kufon, we can't do yet either. I know this is a bit of a, a bit of a long one, but we've caught a lot since then. Um, Ready Drago is on 10, so we can reduce the cost of that, which is pretty decent for a legendary. And we also have Kubfu, which is a really cool legendary to have. We have so many runs that we need to do. Um, Gen 8, so we have Lechonk, which has already been done. We've got Nimble, which is 5 off. Um, Relor, which is 8 off. This is the big one. Bombardier, right? <laughs> we have a red shiny that we could get unaware on, rather than reducing its cost. It is only 3 energy. So what I'm thinking of doing is getting unaware, which means that we can actually use it and stop people from using berries. But not only that, we would then also have a red shiny or reduce the cost by one and then we have a red shiny that's two i feel like that might be worth it more at the moment so yeah let's just reduce the cost we need 50 for the next one but a red shiny for two that's amazing then we have our frigibax which is also a really number one we need one more and then we can reduce that one. So I'm really happy with that one. Goldengo, 
or Gimme Ghoul, sorry, we can reduce the cost. Um, or we could wait for Super Lux. Super Lux better. So I am going to wait to do that one. Um, I forgot about Toad School. We can't do that one yet. I think that's it. I don't think I've missed out any. But I'm thinking we try and get more than S and see what we can do with that. Because currently we have a lot of shinies. Now, this run that we have going has got us so many. Alright guys, and we are back. Um, so, let's carry on this run. We've just gone through all our shinies. Um, we're going to use Thunderbolt here and then cover. What I've started finding is a lot more Pokemon are enduring. So, if we can get as many items as we can. Um, obviously, we do have um, all our King's Rock. We have our Grip Claws, things like that. So we could be okay with getting a few more. Uh, Thunderbolt you and then Gigaton Hammer. We should kill the Gavantula. Endured again. Um, I think we actually just lose here. Oh no, we don't. We win. Okay. Um, there's certain fights where you can literally just get wiped by something stupid where they endure like three or four turns in a row and there's nothing you can do but as you can see there we just got a master ball without doing anything having an S look is broken now what there's a few Pokemon I'm actually looking for now unfortunately you can't get a map in endless so I am probably gonna have to go to um, a normal run for it but I want a mouse hold shiny for definite I also want a Tinkerton shiny for definite um, just because of the utility that they give so if we can get cover or thief on mouse hold or even population bomb with a grip claw that's broken um, I am gonna start moving our eggs around because we need all our Pokemon to be at the highest level even though we don't technically because none of them really do much outside of Kyogre and Tingatana so I'm actually tempted no we, I'm waiting to find a few fire Pokemon to get some charcoals for Charizard. See, we've got an S straight up. No, you're not. Sorry about that. See, we just went off. Um, so, I'm actually going to take the egg vouchers. Seems weird, but I want this Zekrom. Uh, not Zekrom, sorry. I want this Zygarde. So I want to try out 100%. 100% Zygarde, if it stays at 100% after, is insane. Its its stats are broken as it is. Merging in with something else would then also make it ridiculous. So definitely going to do that. We do need to get an adamant um, thing for Charizard when we find one. A adamant mint. By the way, this happens quite a lot in this game, which is bizarre. I've got S luck and nothing's happening. Uh, bold, defense down, attack up. We don't really need that one. Protein, we'll take the attack up. Ooh, Tinkerton. Water Spout and Gigaton Hammer. Why not? We could have caught that to get candy. That is something else we could have done. But there's no need at the moment. I'm probably just going to go and try and get... Ooh, what are you? Sassy? No. I really want the yellows to stay yellow. And if the blues could go to yellow, that would be great. Speed up, I'll take it. 
Basically any fit. Oh, this is bad. Oh, we got a crit. Okay. The amount of stats that's gonna get. Yeah, it might still be fat. It might be fast on us with its stat boost. It's not. That's lucky, to be honest. We could have easily been outpaced there. Um, right. I tend to just take protein, to be honest. Or protein, sorry. No, it is protein, isn't it? Yeah. Um, Alakazam. Water spout should kill. Should be in the word. Obviously, it could have endured at any point. Now, I am going to go through a few strategy videos as, uh, in the near future as well. Because some strategies I've found are really good. And I'd like to share them with you guys if you are playing Pokey Road. Um, if not, and you are starting, it might help you get through your first classic run. Things like that. So, definitely worth it. Oh, let's see what we get from our egg. Not really anything yet. Got a max stat there. And we got pick up on you. Okay. Can we get source that? We can. Oh, the, the metal coat's worth it. I can't really say no to that. Sucker punch is stupid you see what I mean it's stupid yeah reg end, reg end isn't the greatest either we did survive so as long as we wake up which we didn't Gigaton hammer kills it's so stupid how that is based on luck that whole encounter there there was nothing we could have done on except try and outplay the sucker punch but if he goes to something else you're dead anyway um right let's keep going hopefully lonely you know what i'll take it for now it may not mean much, but that means our Charizard now has an attack boost, which is really good. Gigaton hammer kills here. Obviously, our grip claws are taking items as well. So we're not missing out on too much. Um, right. We do need to check out how much attack our Charizard has. Because we do have a little secret weapon. Now, the best thing about this game is they it doesn't prioritize dragon types, but right. So currently we are doing one bar of health to both of these with what if this crits, we can't catch this Hooper. Go on, take it down. There we go, we might... By the way, Hooper is broken. I don't know what ability it's got or what coin is taking it away, but it seems to take away an item every single time. So it stole a spell tag. I mean, obviously it's not something that I care about, but that's stupid. We are still obviously going to catch it... Um, we're not going to make room for it because there's no point. We are on the hunt for a few things. One is obviously an adamant mint for Charizard. Um, is it Rattapex? Yeah. And Max Law, I'll take that. Ooh, a shiny Swampert. Now I will take that. That's a shiny mega all day long. So we've had a legendary and a shiny straight away. It's not as good for stats because nothing increased, so that's a shame. But 
there's another shiny that we didn't have before so that is amazing uh, go to Primal Kyogre here we are starting to do so little damage other than water spout so we are in a really bad situation and um, whereas if water spout doesn't really kill we are in a bit of a bind so Charizard has 96 dragon fangs obviously with stab dragon so we should once we get him up to speed with items be able to take down some of the harder bosses moving forward it's just about getting them items now we're this far ahead um, so you hardly ever come across anything like proteins things like that you get them on the odd one but when you've got s luck you barely get them so it's worth sometimes just killing them on off to reduce the luck you get in so you get more of them items or locking them now i do wish there was a thing here where you could lock it and it stays it without merging up so like we've just got another red here gastrodon and it's the male shiny too okay so let's kill you. Obviously, Ice Beam's not going to do much, but we did kill it. And then we can catch this Gastrodon, which obviously we've already got the shiny, but we do get a good amount of candy for it as well. So why not? So this episode's doing really well so far. Um, some, we've had a legendary, we've had a shiny, we've had two shinies now actually. So it's not a bad episode, if I do say so myself. Um, Metal Coat onto Tinktana. Uh, Guillotine Hammer did nothing. Okay, this might be a hard one. Um, stealing all the items though, I'll take it. If we can keep getting the flinches, Gigaton Hammer obviously does a lot of damage. We just don't get where we need to be with it. Which is unfortunate. Obviously, Covert doesn't get us there either. Yeah, saw that come in. Water Spout. Wow, that doesn't even get us where we need to be. The difference is, obviously, Gigaton Hammer we can only use once in a row. Whereas water spout we can just keep going with. Um, I'm actually tempted just to do that. Yeah, sometimes it's worth just throwing a ball. Because you know with the stat increase you're going to get hit before. So it's always worth just throwing a ball if you think you might lose. Um, swap to Tinkatana. Use this. Okay, so Gengar and Jord. And so did uh, see that's this is the hard part by getting to this point in the game there's no moves that can break through that endure from what I know so I might have to look into potentially if you can now I am water spouting here for one reason we don't have any moves on Tinkerton that can hit ghost types at the minute because Gigaton Ham has already been used so using a water spout there does actually um, help us out. Giga Drain, not worth it. PP Up, not worth it. Wide Lens, yeah, there's just nothing here that we want at the minute. This Ghost level is the worst one for us because we don't do that much damage with our other Mons. Now, we could obviously potentially go and catch some proper mons and then make our team better now that we have our team basically built. It's got all the items it needs. All we need now is a few strong Pokemon. And that is something that we will probably look at soon. Oh, Kyogre just got killed. Right, so we're going to Dragon Claw and Gigaton Hammer. We should kill, yeah. 
that amount of attack from Gigaton Hammer and huge power, it does do a lot of damage. Um, dual wing beat, not worth it. Iron defense, not worth it. But this is what I mean about getting the proteins and stuff. You just don't see them. Um, use HP up on you. Go to Kyogre. Water spout kills. I'm hoping anyway. I enjoyed the hit. Come on. Population bomb would be lovely on a different mon if you could get it. If you get Tinkerton with population bomb, that would be broken. Because you've also got a huge power. Um, right, let's move some items around. Let's get the Pokemon that we are going to use first up levels. Alright guys, so my internet has just cut out and um, there are guys outside, I've just spoken to them, they are going to be about 10 to 15 minutes. So I am going to leave this one here, thank you all for watching. Um, if you do like Poke Rogue, please leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. If you are looking forward to more series like this, we are doing a Radical Red series as well. Um, both on stream and on video, so you might have to catch up with both, or there will be spoilers in one episode, things like that. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. I'll speak to you all in the next one.